Okay, so today I'm gonna go over how to set up your Lux Flash housing and your Sync Transmitter housing. Now, the thing is actually, the, both these setups are exactly the same, so I'm gonna use the Lux Flash housing for the demonstration. And for the setup, I have the Edge Sport housing. Now, this setup will cross over to all our other sport housings as well. So the Evo, the Reflex, the Elite One, and also the Elite Two. Now, the tools you're gonna need is just gonna be a flathead, and a shifter or a crescent wrench. Okay, so the first step is gonna be installing the flash bulkhead. So just take your flathead screwdriver and just put it into the slot on the flash bulkhead plug at the top of the housing. Unscrew that. And let's unscrew this until the nut falls free, like that. Take out the plug. And I like to just keep these uh, together and put them to the side and save them uh, just in case at a later time you want to install this uh, flash bulkhead plug again. All right, so now installing the flash bulkhead. So unscrew the nut. And you just want to make sure that both the O rings are present. So there's going to be one sitting in the groove of the flash bulkhead and then one uh, sitting in another groove right above the threads. Feed the wire through and then support it uh, with your finger. Now on the inside of the sport housing, there's gonna be a groove uh, that this nut sits into. Now for some of the older style housings, you might not have the groove for this to sit into. So with that, you're just gonna need uh, two crescent wrenches uh, to support the nut and then support the outside of the flash bulkhead to tighten it down. I right, just hold the wire and then feed it through the flash bulkhead nut. Make sure the, it sits into the groove on the inside of the housing. Then once you get the thread started, you're gonna wanna hold the wire of the flash bulkhead and then just tighten it down. And just get it hand tight. Now once you get it hand tight, you just wanna look and make sure that O-ring is not being pinched and it's sitting nice and even in the groove. Then from there, you grab your crescent wrench and you'll see two slots on, the, on either side of the flash bulkhead. So just grip the flash bulkhead and then tighten it down. Now that you have the flash bulkhead installed, you're gonna to wanna to set up your sport housing uh, just like you did when you first uh, received the sport housing. Set it up and do a water test. So you can do a dunk test in the bathtub, in a bucket, in a swimming pool, even out in the ocean. Just to make sure that you have set up the flash bulkhead properly and that no water is leaking in. All right, now time to set up the Lux flash housing. And like I mentioned before, the Lux flash housing setup is gonna be the same exact as the sink transmitter. Now for the Lux flash housing, there's gonna be two ways to set it up. It's gonna be this quick cam lock or the five millimeter screw. Now the difference between the two is that the five millimeter screw is gonna be used for heavier surf. So if you're gonna be shooting some shore break, uh, shooting out in bigger waves, you're gonna to wanna to use the five millimeter screw. Now, if you're gonna be use, uh, shooting in more stagnant water, more calm water, then you're gonna to wanna to use the quick cam lock. All right, now I'm mounting the Lux flash housing. Just grab your pro mount, take out the thumb screw, and you're gonna want these groove, this groove right here facing towards you. Set it up on top of the sport housing, and just screw it down with a three millimeter hex key. Okay, so the first setup is gonna be with the quick cam lock. So grab the two parts. Okay, and just slide it over the pro mount. Grab your thumb screw, and you'll see this thumb screw sits in a slot on the side of the Lux flash housing. And then feed the cam lock through. And just hand tighten that down. Now you don't want to go overly tight because once you push down this cam lock, it's going to give it that extra little bite to be fully locked down. All right, so now I'm going to install the Godox flash. Set that into place. Lock it down. Clamp down the back plate. Okay, now once you have the cam lock locked down, you take the thumb screw and just screw that back in. And that's just gonna provide some extra security so that the Lux flash housing can't rock back and forth. All right, now for the five mil hex key that's used for heavier surf. Okay, so you're gonna use the same thumb screw that you use with the cam lock uh, with the five mil screw. So it's also gonna have a washer. Let's put the washer over. Put the thumb screw in that same slot and just 
feed the screw through. Take your five mil hex key. And then just tighten that screw down. And like I said, this is used for heavier surf. So then you just grab your thumb screw again. Just install that. And there you go. Now the Lux Flash housing is set up uh, for heavier shore break and heavier surf. Now we're gonna hook up the sink cord. So just unscrew the caps of each flash bulkhead on the Lux and the sport housing. And now unscrew the caps of the sink cord. Now one thing about the sink cord and these flash bulkheads is that the dry connectors. So you always wanna have the sink cord attached to the flash bulkheads or the caps attached. Now you see on the inside, uh, the pins just line up. Push that down and make sure that it, it fully, make sure that it fully screws down. And same on the other flash bulkhead. All right, now that the sink cord's attached, grab your camera hot shoe, attach that to the inside. Now just slide the camera hot shoe on top of the camera and fire away. And there you have it. Now that is the setup of the Lux Flash housing as well as the sink transmitter housing. Now, like I mentioned, both setups are exactly the same. The only small difference is that the Lux Flash housing comes with a five millimeter screw for shooting in heavier surf or shore break. Now, just remember, if you have any questions, please reach out to our experienced architect team as we're always here to help.